Yeah, very Area of parallelograms, triangles, and trapezoids, okay? The area of a parallelogram is just base times the height. Parallelogram, okay? Make sure you don't forget parallelogram have both sides are parallel, okay? So you have two parallel sides, pair of parallel sides, okay? Just base times the height. It's like a rectangle or a square, length times width, okay? Now your base and your height have to be touching the right angle, okay? Um, this distance might be different than this distance. Okay, and I'll show you an example here in a second. Okay, always go with the two the the two sides that are touching the right angle. Okay. All right, you need to draw these two parallelograms. We're gonna find the area of both of these. All right, we have a parallelogram with eleven for the height, sixteen for the base. So it's just base times height. Sixteen times eleven. Is equal to one seventy six. Now this is inches squared because it's a it's area. It's asking for a squared unit. All right. Now we have the second one. It gives us three measurements. Which two do I use? The height and the base. Okay, the height and the base. But all right, what would be my base? Someone raise your hand, Mackenzie. 16.7. Okay, my base is 16.7. Emery, what would be my height? 8.3 or 7.6? It's 8.3 because, like I said on the side before, it has to be touching the right angle. Okay, 7.6 is not touching the right angle. So 7.6 times 8.3, you get 138.6 centimeters squared. All right, here they give us this shape. They tell us what the area is. They tell us what the base is. We got to find the height. So what I need to do is I need to write the formula. Area equals base times height. Plug in what I know. Well, I know the area, right? 156. I know the base, right? At height is the only thing I don't know. So I divide by 13 to get H by itself. 156 divided by 13. H is 12 meters. Now be careful and don't write meters squared. It's not an area, it's a single unit. So it's meters. Any questions? All right. You need to write this down. This is the area of a triangle, okay? And just draw a triangle so you'll know what the base height is. Now, we've talked about this before, okay? But I'm we're reiterating it just so you won't forget. All right, like the like you know, area of a triangle is just one half the base times height. Now, this is how they rewrite it, okay? Just A with a triangle, okay? So instead of writing all this, they just write this. One half the base times height. Or, okay? It's base times height divided by 2. Remember that? Because one half of something is just like dividing it by 2. Because 8, what's one half of 8? 4. Four. What's 8 divided by 2? Four. 4. So it's the same thing. Okay? So you need to draw this triangle with those dimensions. And we're going to find an area of it in just a second. All right. So, base times height divided by 2. What's my base? Someone raise your hand and tell me. Uh, Blaine? 5.2. 5.2. Okay. Someone tell me what my height is. McKenzie? 8. eight. Does it matter if I wrote 8 times 5.2? No. no. Remember, community of order says I can change the property. Or, community of property says I can change the order. Right, we divide by two. So 5.2 times eight gives you 40.16. 40.16 divided by two. Or it should be 41.6, sorry. I don't know why I wrote that. Yeah, you're right, 41.6. 41.6 divided by 2 gives you 20.8.
Now this is meters squared because it's an area. You're taking meters times meters, so meters squared. All right, any questions? All right, let's do this triangle. So what would be my base? What would go here for my base? 15. 15. What would go for my height? 12. It's 12. Okay. Anytime you're doing measurements, always look for the right angle. Okay, for parallelograms, okay, look for the right angle. So the height and the base will be touching it. All right, so 15 is for my base, 12 is for my height. We're going to divide that by 2. 15 times 12 is 180. 180 divided by 2, it is 90, right? Everybody agree? So it's 90 feet squared. Does anyone remember why we divide base sum height by two for when we're doing triangles? Okay, for a parallelogram or a rectangle, it's it's length times width, isn't it? Right? Base times height gives me all of this. Okay, but for a triangle, do I need all of that, or I only need half of it? You only need half of it. Remember? Okay, so that's why we divide it by two in the. Okay, here's the area of a trapezoid. You need to write that down and memorize it. All right, this is just the area of a trapezoid, okay? It's one half base one plus base two. All right, so you add the bases. We times by the height, then we divide it by two. So it's the same thing as base one plus base two times the height, divide it by two. Okay, same thing. So let's find the area of this. All right, base one is eight. The base 2 is 17. Doesn't matter if I switch them. No. Again, community property says I can switch it. 8 plus 17 times by the what? Two. 2, the height. Okay. Then we divide it by 2. Okay. 8 plus 17 is 25. So we're supposed to take 25 times 2, divide by 2. Well, if you're timesing by 2 and dividing by 2, you might as well not do any of that. You might as well just leave it at 25 inches squared okay the twos would cancel because 25 times 2 is 50 50 divided by 2 is 25 okay any questions on how to do that here's your assignment